Dry conditions continue to fuel wildfires across central and southwest Louisiana. Response efforts, of course, do too. National Guard units have been taking off from Essler Airfield in Pineville to respond to the needs of local firefighting crews. In the past two weeks, 467 soldiers have responded to the need to fight wildfires in Louisiana. Finding water and putting it on the fire is the name of the game. For some, it's a mission close to home, like Louisiana National Guardsman Jesse Curtis. So we got to treat them just like we would treat our own family. Everybody's family in Louisiana, and that's how we like to keep it. For others, like Tennessee National Guardsman Luke Hargrove, it's another way to fulfill a call to service, even when that family isn't in Louisiana. Don't want to speak for everyone here, but we have the ability to help, so we have the responsibility to help. And we'll try to uh, do it until we run out of gas. Um, and then we'll go refuel and we'll do it again. 43 supporting state's guardsmen have joined the Louisiana National Guard to conduct water missions over the state's largest and most intense wildfires. They have made more than 1,700 loads and dropped a little less than 940,000 gallons of water. Each of the eight Blackhawks carries 600 gallons of water. When you put that 600 gallon bucket underneath your aircraft and you're trying to pull up out of the water, you're pulling everything your helicopter's got to get up and out of there to get to the fires. While a Chinook carries the equivalent of two Blackhawks. For Chinook Commander Martin Howell of the Oklahoma National Guard, this is not only his first time fighting a fire, but also a first for many on his crew. It's not the first time he's come to the aid of Louisiana, though. Howell's crew responded to the need of Hurricane Ida. Any chance I get to come down here to support uh, Louisiana, they've always been helpful, they've always been hospitable, and so there's no issue for me uh, coming back anytime there's something that anytime we, that we're called. Guardsmen from Alabama and Arkansas are also responding to the call to help. And regardless of when they arrived or how often they take off, the guardsmen will continue to respond until the need is fulfilled.